hello everyone welcome back my dear students in the previous video we learned that how we can add the master plate and render the content into the master plate then we created the profile plate and uh, we uh, added the um, section into the profile and we are rendering this into the master blade so now queries comes that how we can add the styles into the most into the profile blade not the master blade so how we can do this so there is a simpler one and one more thing so if i go here go to this dashboard and it's displaying purple admin but when i visited this profile i don't want to display this purple admin i want to display the profile page at the top so how i can do this so let's go here and you need to add one more section here right section and then this section contain here you need to you can say whatever you want so you can you need to define a key and then this key will be uh, visible to the and then this key will be passed to the uh, to, uh, we are going to pass this into the parent right so you can pass the key so i'm going to pass the title what's the title i'm going to pass the profile page right save this one and now let's uh, register this uh, key into the master blade right so i'm going to this uh, master blade so let's go to the top and here this one contain a title so here i don't want to execute this uh, hard coded title i'm removing this out and here i'm typing this uh, yield right yield and in the yield i'm going to call this title right so it's going to display every page title so if you open the dashboard so it's going to uh, display the dashboard title it's uh, or if you open the profile page it's going to display the profile page so now let's get refresh so it's going to render the title of the profile and yes no it's not rendering this out so let me refresh it again and it's going to render our profile page and yes it's rendering the profile page why it's not reloading it at once because we are saving into the one and then we are jumping to the next one and it's in the process uh, it's in the processing and we are pressing the control plus s and it's uh, first completing the first step and then it's going to reload this out okay so we added this title here so now question comes that how we can add the style so it's a similar like this so you can add this section here and you can name this uh, styles and also you can end this section and so uh, because we are going to add multiple files that's why i'm going to end this out here and uh, section and here you can uh, paste your files so you can add uh, your files like link uh, and you can a reference your file like uh, asset and you can add asset like here so i'm going to just uh, add this image here for testing purposes that you can add this like this right so you can call also asset method and it will pull exactly from where you mentioned this out so it's pretty same just you need to define it in the section and then you need to call this section here but i'm going to do this with the inline style so here i'm adding this inline style so you can do whatever you want so here i'm going to change the i'm going to assign this a para and para color would be the green right save this one oops let me type it correctly green and then i'm going to apply this on this green page right not page it would be a heading i'm going to assign this a para and let me assign id of para oops it would be a para and then i need to paste this text so now let's save this one and it's going to it's not going to do anything why because we need to render this style into the master one right so let's go here and go to this auth dot blade and here you can add this after the end of the files or build or you can also add this in the start of the files so here i'm going to add this yield property and in the yield i'm going to add this style right so let's save this one and it's going to reload the web page and it's going to display this out so let me turn this off and refresh it manually okay so hope you uh, are learning a lot from this series so if you are uh, and yes it's displaying the i am from profile page with the green right so it means that our style is working and if you want to check that your style is rendered or not so just press control plus u or you can click on this view page source and then you can view it here 
so you can check this out this is rendered here so it's mean that it's rendering all of our files all of our uh, our code and then it's rendering this out here right so now question comes that how we can add the scripts so you can also add this similar so here just add the section of uh, scripts right and uh, section and here i'm going to add this so you can add this similar like you are doing this in the laravel but i'm going to just add this uh, uh, running okay save this one and uh, just to uh, execute the, uh, just add this into the master blade so now let's uh, go here and here i'm going to add this after and you can add this after or below it's totally upon you you need to just make sure that uh, it's not to uh, adding the naming collision right and yes it's refreshing the web page and it's going to display as running okay wait for a moment and yes it's uh, in the process that's why it's not displayed this out so now let's refresh and it's going to display that it's running no it's not going bigger profile page and yes now it's displaying the running so it's mean that our css is working our title is working our javascript files are working so in this way you can add the dashboard you can add the multiple files and reuse your top bar sidebar and footer right so now let's uh, come here and our footer is added uh, into the dashboard so how you can add this into this one so you need to just simply uh, cut this footer out you need to simply uh, let me go down go down here and you need to cut this out i'm going to cut this also div because we need to render this after uh, after this uh, when it's rendered here oops why i cut this out let me go here let me copy it okay so this one is a dashboard stuff i don't want to copy the dashboard stuff so here you need to just cut this footer and then you can you need to add a section here uh, no i don't want to add the section i want to cut this out and i need to also cut this out so let me check this bracket and check this div that what uh, which is representing this div let's go to the top and it's representing this main panel so we can cut this out maybe this footer is not going to work when we cut this out from this div then we will fix this right so save this one and now let's come back to our auth and here i'm going to after this i'm going to add this footer here right i'm not going to add this into the blade because this one is a master blade so we don't need to create new one right save this one and do uh, let's refresh so it's going to also display the footer here okay let's wait for a moment and hope you are excited that you are learning a lot from this series and yes and uh, yes it's behaving weird why it's behaving weird because we uh, cut a div here so let me add this div here because it's the ending div so we don't need to remove this out so now let's align this and let's go to the dashboard and remove this from there so let me remove this out so save this one and let's uh, refresh this out so now it's going to work properly okay and yes running and it's uh, behaving the same why it's behaving the same because it's added this footer inside this section so we need to cut this out we need to create this into the new uh, into the new uh, row and then th this is going to work so remember that uh, if i go here let me uh, fix it properly that we added this after this so yield and in the master blade if i go here and let me check the source code i'm going to explore the this theme that how it's rendering before this one right okay let's go down and here it's rendering it's closing these three divs after this footer so let's go here to three divs after this footer 
then it's uh, rendering this footer and then three days and rendering this footer and before this it's good why it's not working out so if i go here in the dashboard so is it uh, properly closing go to the top no one is missing here we need to add this div so div save this one and check that how it's going to work okay man oh we are opening this profile page so we need to open the dashboard so let me open the dashboard for us so here let's go here and you can register a new blade a new route but i'm going to do this for the demonstration purposes that's why i'm not going to create a new dashboard i will also tell you that how you can create a new one and how you can redirect your user how you can redirect onto a specific page okay guys okay okay it's going to load and yes it's uh, working but this footer is coming here so i don't want to out here so let's uh, go to this uh, dashboard i think it's due to this one so why i'm playing this around because i want to show you that uh, uh, you need to align this uh, footer properly i think it's uh, it's uh, not uh, properly aligned with this theme so you need to add this uh, uh, basically this would be at the end of the any of the sections because you need to cut this footer out into the separate file so that's why we are facing this issue and yes now it's added in the bottom so in this way you can add this like this and now you are curious that how you can uh, create two routes and visit these two routes so i'm going to also tell you that uh, how you can do this because i don't want to i don't want to confuse my students that uh, i always shoot uh, shoot full series where i will teach from zero to hero because when i'm learning this laravel so i'm very confused that i know everything but i don't know how to implement these uh, implement this into the real project so that's why i'm shooting everything into the real environment and if you like these videos please share your feedback that uh, how much you like this video and uh, also subscribe the channel subscribe the channel and don't forget to check out other videos i created uh, 25 plus course on this laravel so you will learn a lot from this channel so uh, i will meet you in the next one bye bye